his own service. Let's give the Lord a good hand clap. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Houston, Texas, 9407 Crossroads Street. You all welcome, welcome, welcome. You might hear something in this building you never heard before. That don't make it wrong. That just means you never heard it before. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to be your speaker. We got our prophet, our elder. Going to be your speaker this morning. Amen. Brother Charles, you ready? I'm ready. Come on, brother. Thank you. Let's get a lot of hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm excited. Different from uh, Pastor Bobby here. I want to stay here long as they let me. I'm not ready to go. Let me stay long as he let me. Praise God. Let me see all you all here today. All his face is wonderful face. Praise God. It's a good it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. And I like to say uh, uh, that a new year is coming. And everybody going to try to do better in 24. Is that right? Amen. 24 going to be the year of uh, what? Amen. Prosperity, Amen. right? Amen. We're going to prosper spiritually and we're going to prosper financially. Amen. 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 So I thank God for being here. I thank God for Pastor Bobby, the preachers here, Prophet Marvin Hampton, all you brothers over there, uh, evangelist, speak evangelist, preacher right here. God bless you. So uh, I'd like to pray before I get into the word. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word that is about to go forth. And Lord, I ask that every word be your will and your purpose. Father, I ask you, Lord, to uh, enhance this word that people may be able to understand it and may be seasoned by it, that they may grow by it. In the name of Jesus, that it be not me, Lord, that they see, but it be you, Father. I give you all honor and glory. How you use me, Lord. So use me this day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Let's give God a hand clap. Go to the book of Hosea 4 and 6. I'm going to talk a little bit about the city of God, but before I do that, a few things else that we're going to get on. Before we get over there, I got plenty of time. So uh, the message actually will be about the city of God, our Tyler's message. And somebody said that somebody came all the way from Alaska, huh? Right. Who is that? Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. That's a long trip. Praise God, you know, from Alaska. Yes, sir, that is a long trip. That's probably iced over over there, isn't it? It's, it's snowing. It's negative three yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be over here in Texas too. <laughs> We're happy to get to Texas. Amen. 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 Jose, what did I say? Four and six? My people are destroyed. My people are destroyed. For the lack of knowledge. For the lack of knowledge. Amen. That's very important that we have knowledge. Amen. Whatever area of our life that we are ignorant in, we suffer in. We lack. We cannot have a good life based on bad information. Based on false information. We have to allow ourselves to have an open heart and an open mind to everything. We don't seal ourselves off to just one belief or one thought of, of you know, limited in ourselves. But see, good information is one thing, but if we're going to uh, live our lives based on information, we need accurate information. Amen. We need the right information. Amen. So praise God, you know, we must build our lives on reliable sources of information. Yeah. Amen. Some information is not reliable. That's right. So we can't rely on that type of information that's not reliable. So consequently, the source of information that we should rely on is something that's solid and firm yeah. and 
And the best thing that we can build our lives on, the best information we can build our lives on, is the Holy Bible. Amen. 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 We can build our lives on the Holy Bible. Amen. You know, God's Word redeems us. God's Word builds us. And it guides us. Jose. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. I will also reject thee. So some people will reject knowledge because it doesn't fit what they believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen? Amen. Just because, as the pastor said, because you never heard it before doesn't mean that it's not right. So we don't want to reject knowledge. We want to analyze it and, 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 and seek it out and investigate and make sure that it's right. Go ahead, brother. That thou shalt be no priest to me. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing uh, thou hast forgotten the law of, that, of thy God. Seeing that thou hast forgot the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. I will also forget thy children. Oh, the word of God when it's accurately interpreted will break up all the boundaries that's in our lives. The word of God will. Praise God. All right, brother. Go to, uh, that's, that's good on that. Let's go to uh, Revelations 21. You have to be careful who you give your ear to. Because whatever you feel in this ear, who you give your ear to, has a key to your soul. Amen. 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 So if you put garbage in your ear and you listen to garbage, that's what's going to come out. Right. What you put in is what's going to come out. Right. You see, what you put in is going to come out. Right. Amen. Sooner or later, it's going to come out. Glory to God. And then of this, see, being misinformed is just as bad as being uninformed. Is what I'm saying. So you can be misinformed about this Bible, as many have been, and that's just as bad as being uninformed, not knowing. In other words, what I'm saying is wrong information is just as bad as no information. Amen. See? And many of us have been given wrong information. About the Bible. Amen. 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 Over the years, they tell you that you can't help but sin. And that we all sin every day. This is the doctrine that they teach. Many teach. But it's not the doctrine of the apostles. They didn't teach that. Jesus Christ came to give us dominion over Sin. Yeah. Right. Came to give us dominion over sin. Amen. This is what he came and he died for that we might have dominion over, watch this here, yourself. That's right. Self control. Yeah. See, self get out of control, it is a self destruct. Right. Yeah. See, the devil can't make you do anything it can only persuade you right. to do yes. right. wrong right. he don't make you do it that devil made me do it now the devil didn't make you do it but he persuaded you right. see Adam, the devil didn't make Adam and Eve sin yeah. he persuaded them yeah. and all down through this bible you'll see a persuasion of the devil how he works. Yeah. How he works. Yeah. He just constantly persuades you to self-destruct. Uh -huh. You see, so we have to be rooted in the word and knowledge of the word to keep ourselves rooted in the word. Right. Right. Amen. Revelation uh, 21, 1 to through 10. Yeah. 
And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were well, passed away. The first heaven and the first earth was passed away. And there was no more sea. And there was no more sea. Now he now some people read this and think it's talking about in the sky. This is a new heaven and a new earth. And they think, well, you see, this, this sky gonna pass away. And this earth gonna pass away. But in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says that the earth and the heavens abide forever. See? So the new heaven and the new earth is talking about the worship. That's right. See? A new way of worship. Amen. See? Blessed be the God and our Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 So these heavenly places in Christ is understanding. Amen. Go to Proverbs 3. We'll see. Proverbs 3. By wisdom he had found in there. And then we'll come back over here. Let me show you. So you got to have knowledge and understanding about the word of God. Amen. Some people say, well, you believe your way and I believe my way. But no, that's not the way this goes. Right. Only one way is right. It's not a multitude of ways right. right. And that's what's so, so uh, uh, confusing. Because you got a multitude of churches and doctrines and teachings. Mm -hmm. So all those ways are not right. Mm -hmm. See, the, the, the doctrine. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. The Lord by wisdom. The Lord by wisdom. Had founded the earth. Had founded the earth. By understanding. By understanding. Had he established the heavens. Had he established the heavens. By his knowledge. By his knowledge. The depths are broken up. The depths are broken up. Now. And the clouds drop down the dew. And the clouds drop down the dew. So now he said by his knowledge, the depths are broken up. The depths of this word. Amen. Come on. The depths of your soul is broken up. See, and the clouds drop down the dew. That's those preachers, right? right. They're going to drop down the dew. Amen. So when God is ready to do something in your life, he will do it by all means. Amen. When he get ready to do something in your life. See, when God got ready to bring the children of Israel out of bondage, he needed somebody, Amen. see, to go and represent him. God needed somebody that would stand firm on what he called and what he chose to do. He needed somebody to stand firm. God looked for a man to stand in the gap. During that time, he found one by the name of Moses to go down in Egypt and talk to Pharaoh. Amen? Amen. Go down in Egypt to talk to Pharaoh. Because God was getting ready to do something. Amen. In the people's lives. When God gets ready to do something in your life. Nothing is standing in the way of it. Yeah, that's right. Nothing can stand in the way. What God gets ready to do. Amen. In your life. Yeah. When God got ready to bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. He told Moses to go to Pharaoh and let him know, let my people go. Right. You see? Right. He said, let them go. Right. Come on. So now, when we look, Pharaoh, God was using Pharaoh at the same time. Yeah. God was using Pharaoh. Yeah. His people was in bondage. Yeah. They was held, they forgot about Joseph. Amen. Yeah. So, so when they went before Pharaoh, they threw their sticks down because he's trying to bring them out now. God is going to build something with these people. But yet, these people crying out to God, but yet didn't really want to obey God. Yeah. The Bible said that they heard the cry. God had heard their cry came up before God. Can you imagine the, the cry coming up before God? You down here praying and saying, Lord, help, help, help. I need this help, 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 help. And then when the Lord step in to help, you don't want that kind of help. 
You see? Amen. You don't want that. Amen. Well, he's trying to help you. Right. Yeah. You see? But they didn't want that kind of help. Glory to God. So then they turn around and uh, Moses went before them and and uh, went before Pharaoh and Pharaoh was rebellious. He was rebellious. But the Bible said God hardened his heart so that he wouldn't let him go. You see what I'm talking about? God hardened his heart. See, people get in a condition where their heart get hardened and they can't obey God. All right, brother, go ahead. Revelation, back to Revelation, yeah. 21, okay. Now, so I saw a new heaven and a new earth, from the first heaven and earth was passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city. And I, John, saw the holy city. New Jerusalem. The new Jerusalem. Coming down from uh, God out of heaven. Coming down from God. Out of heaven. Out of heaven. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now he's in a vision right here and he's seeing this heaven. This, this, this bride. What he's seeing is the church coming down from heaven adorned itself as a bride. When Peter was on the rooftop, Peter saw a sheep come down and four-footed beasts, creepy things, fowls of the air. That was a type of the church. But that was the type of the Gentile church. Right. But now John here on the Isle of Babylon said he saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and earth were passed away. That was that law kingdom. Amen. Amen. That law kingdom uh, uh, ordinances and all those things was going to go off the scene. Amen. You see? They going off the scene. Amen. It passed away. The heaven, in other words, you feel going have a new doctrine, a new place to pray, heaven and earth. See, a heavenly kingdom and an earthly kingdom. You look at this generation right now, 20 years ago, it didn't look like this. But now it's corrupt. Amen? So this, this kingdom here was going off the scene. The heaven and earth passed away and there was no more sea, a division among them. Come on. Go ahead and read. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying. Behold. Behold. The tabernacle of God is with men. The tabernacle of God is with men. Talking about the church. The tabernacle of God is the church. And it's with men. Not going to be with men. But is with men. So the church is here right now. The church is not trying to come and we're waiting on them to come out of the sky but the church is here right now. Amen. This church Amen. this church came down on the day of Pentecost. Yes. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This scripture right here I've heard uh, some people say a pastor of mine said that this should be right in the book of Acts. That what he saw is the same thing they saw in the upper room. Amen. Come on. When they was in the upper room praying, they, they saw a rushing mighty wind fill all the house where they were sitting. Clothing tongues of fire set up on each of them, and they all was filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Began to speak with tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. Yeah. Right. So Jesus Christ had told them to go and wait for the promise. See, the Holy Ghost is the promise of God. Amen. Yes. This is one of the promises. You are promised good health if you obey it. And the Holy Ghost is one of the promises. Amen. You are promised wealth, inheritance. The Holy Ghost is a promise. Amen. Come on. Right. So this is something that belongs to you. Amen. This is something that has been promised to you. The Holy Ghost. Yes, and see, when it comes in your life, it changes your nature. Yes, you don't have that same old sinful nature as you used to have. Your nature changed when God stepped in your life. You've got to have a change of nature in order to really truly serve God. You can be morally good. Come on, you can be morally good. 
But morally good won't get it. See, if you want to overcome yourself, you got to have something in you. Great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So you can't overcome that anger and that lust and that meanness and that, come on, that sympathy. You can't overcome all that stuff without the Holy Ghost. Because it's got to take control of you. Come on. So preachers go out and they say, hey, you can't help but sin and you're going to sin every day. Amen. Who got up planning to sin today? Y'all know, don't show of hands, huh? Amen. You see, you don't get up with your mind planning to sin. You see, I don't. Amen. You don't get up with your mind planning to sin. You sin because you choose to Amen. sin. Amen. People want their pleasures and their desires to be fulfilled. Come on, rather than to obey God. And that becomes a challenge to people because of their pleasures gets in the way of the righteousness of God. See, people many times have pushed the righteousness of God aside to fulfill a lustful or a pleasure. Come on, that they decide. Let me bring David to the table. See, when David was supposed to be out at a, a, a meeting of war, for the kings of kings, David stayed back. He didn't go. Walks out on his balcony, he see a maiden bathing in the sun. Named Bathsheba. So when David walked out over his balcony and began to look and see this female beauty uh, bathing, it did something to his mind. You see what I mean? Somehow that, that'll do things to the man's mind, a man's mind, when he see that woman and messes him up. So David wasn't rooted in God like he should have been. He was walking in the flesh at that time. I bet he was. Come on. So David had a lustful pleasure that he wanted to fulfill. This is what pulls us away from God. Trying to fulfill a lustful pleasure, or trying to fulfill a desire that we have that pleases us and not God. Right. Amen. So the enemy he fights you continuously to get your mind away from God Almighty. Right. You see? And this generation right now, it says, Woe unto the habitation of the earth, for Satan has been cast among you. Right. Knowing that he had what? But a short time. Yes. Satan was cast out. Mm -hmm. And his angels. The Bible says there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And his angels fought. He said but they prevailed not. The dragon and his angels. And they was all cast out of heaven to the earth. Yes. Is that the Bible? Right. Yes. Then it says. Woe unto the habitation of the earth. For Satan is cast out among you. Is that right? Now, come on, watch this here. Knowing this, that Satan was cast out among you, he transformed into what? A minister of light. This is where your war is. This is where your war is. What do you call it? The, the little robot that IGA or whatever you call it? AI. AI. <laughs> you may be shaking hands with AI. <laughs> Downtown saying, uh, excuse me, this is not right. They said, okay, I'm sorry, sir. Let me get your money for you. <laughs> well, he's so nice to me, ain't he? <laughs> but it's not a human being. You see? It's not a human being. You over there looking at that boy, he look good, don't he, girl? Yeah, but he's not, he not real. <laughs> you see? Same vice versa. Yeah. She look good, but she not real. Yeah. You see? Now, what in the world am I going with this here? What I'm saying is that you could be looking at something that you think is one thing and it's another. So if he said, war unto the habitation of the earth, for Satan is cast out among you, that means that the devil is down here working. Amen. Huh? Amen. The devil is busy. 
busy down here on this earth to keep your mind away from the truth of God. This is what the devil is doing. And by all means, he's trying to do it. Devil is busy to. He can't make you do anything, but he can persuade you. You see? And his persuasion is all over your phone, all over the internet, all over that over this uh, 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 media right here. That's where his persuasion is. He said, well, everything that you could talk about in a pop pop up. The government said, we'll give you a phone, but we, we, hey, don't worry about the money. But take this phone. Something wrong with that bitch. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Something wrong with that. Thank you. <laughs> huh? We'll just, we'll give you a phone for free. Come on down. We got them for free. Something wrong with that picture, bro. Something is wrong with that picture. They putting a, a low jack on you and you don't even know it. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 They putting a monitor on you to monitor everywhere you go and you don't even know it. You like, well, I, I see, see, they put so much on there that you get so used to it. That's right. Yeah. You don't want to throw it away. I've, I've got my phone. Sometimes I just, I'm just gonna throw it in the bushes. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it across the space. <laughs> that thing will bother me, you know. I didn't got to, I don't, I don't overcome it. But it used to make me so mad, I said, oh no, I don't know how what my brother's been doing to me. Does it bother them like it bothered me? <laughs> and they going through what I'm going through with this thing. Yeah. I'll take it and throw it across the fence on. Boom. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it lets the government know everywhere you are. Your every location. It comes in your house. You see what I mean? And if you're not careful, it'll control you. Woe unto the habitation of it, but Satan is cast out among you. Come on. The mark of the beast. Who gonna receive the mark of the beast? And it says in his forehead or in his hands. The beast the beast is said, come on, come on. And then if you don't take the mark, your head roll. You see? This is where this country is going. You're going to either take the mark. He said, he don't have a mark, can't buy, sell, or nothing. You're like, man, I need some beans and cornbread. You know? I got to buy something. This is where this country is when they do away with the currency. You see? And then, then this is where you are. Get your life right with God now. Make a decision who you're going to serve. Make a decision who you're going to serve. I'm not talking about having a good time in church or just playing church. I'm talking about getting a personal relationship with God. Because if you don't have that personal relationship, there is no secrets with God. Amen. You think it is, but there's no secrets with God. God, everything you do, God will reveal it. Sooner or later. So that's, you can't hide from God. You may hide from man, but God, but God is warning you today. You can't hide. You got folks come to church with their Bibles. Praise the Lord. And when you leave church, you're a whole different animal. You see what I'm saying? Come on. You got a multitude. They, uh, one reliable man, a uh, 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 singer that I heard uh, 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 the other day, he was speaking on the web, and he said that churches have changed. Music is about selling music. Music is about getting contracts and music is about winning awards. Christianity done, done rolled over into that. Yeah. Yeah. They're about getting 
rewards or, or being in the Grammys or you know, whatever, you know. You know, that's what they're all about now, selling records. And it's not about praise, it's about sounding good. See, and about wars. They, 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 then I, they, they, then I, we went on to say that after these concerts or Christian concerts, they serve an alcohol. They serve an alcohol at the after party, you know, like you go to the banquets and the concerts. After the concert, you get you serve alcohol, you get liquor, and you go get liquored up. See, and then they play in worldly music rather than gospel music. So they, they go in praising God, thank the Lord, what's the Lord for? You think the church on fire. Then they leave and they drink it, they get drunk. The flesh, walking in the flesh. And this man here, he's he he knows because he's there. See what I mean? And I followed his music for a long time, and I know this man is anointed. And if he wasn't anointed, he wouldn't have said what he said. Amen. He said, I don't like it. But he's in it. It's terrible. So what you think that look like God may not be God. Amen. Glory to God. All right, brother, go ahead. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Not going to be with men. The tabernacle is here. And when the tabernacle came, the priest came with the tabernacle. Yeah. The Bible said we have a high priest. Jesus Christ. The son of God. See, he's our high priest. Amen. And he's the mediator between God and man. Amen. The Bible says that he's seated where? At the right hand of God. Come on. So he came with the tabernacle. All this here, Mary is the mother of God. Throw that out. Throw that out. You can't find that in this Bible. So, well, come on. So you got to throw that out. Because Mary is not the mother of God. Mary, according to my Bible, King James Version said Mary was the mother of the Son of God. Come on. Said that she was going to bring forth a, a, a child, the saying that you will feel with it to, of the Holy Ghost, you shall be called the Son of God. Come on. Glory to God. All right, brother, go ahead. And he would dwell with them. And he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them. And God himself shall be with them. And be their God. And be their God. All right, go with me to the 46 Psalms. Uh, 46 Psalms. 1 through 10. Psalms 46. 1 through 10. Glory to God. So God tells Moses to let the people go. To go, go, go and talk to uh, Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. And when they go to Pharaoh, Moses and Aaron have a rod. So Aaron throw the rod down before Pharaoh and uh, his rod turns to uh, a serpent. I know people said Moses, but it wasn't Moses. It was Aaron threw that rod down. <laughs> it was Aaron threw it. Yeah, they said Moses, but it wasn't. So Aaron throws his rod down because watch this here. I'm going to show you. Over there in the temple when you read about the rod that budded that was sitting in, that, in the holiest of holies with that showbread it said in Aaron's rod is that what it said? Not Moses' rod. It says Aaron's rod that budded. So it had a dead stick in the holy place getting life. Was living. You see, in the presence of God, there's life in the presence of God. Come on. There's, not, there's life in God's presence. So only that priest Luther could go back there, but now whosoever will. Whosoever will. If you want this life, you can have this life. Come on. And that gets me when I read that about Aaron's rod budding in this holy place, a dead old dead stick sprouting with it. Branches coming up off of it in that holy place. They said they threw a, a man in a hole where Elijah's bones was. Where Elisha? 
Okay, Elisha's bones were in this hole that, and there was a war going on and they threw this dead man in that hole where Elisha's bones were. And, and, that, and, and the Bible say that when his, this man hit these bones of Elisha, he came alive. You see, life that, that, that life that was in Elisha was still generating. You see, the life that There is life in the presence of God. Come on, there's joy in the presence of God. Come on, joy in the presence of God. Oh, my Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord, Jesus. I'm talking about where the Holy Ghost is flying. There is life around the Holy Ghost. The Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is. Come on, come on, not my mother, not my daddy, 
alcohol and the gin and the vodka. Yeah. Come on. But you couldn't find the joint. You tried to find it in the pipe. But there's nothing you can smoke that can give you this kind of joint. Come on, good enough. Couldn't find it. Some people, some people bow and maybe said you're watching right now on, on, on the media right here. Our fans out there on Facebook. Somebody may be putting out a cigarette and want to quit. Somebody may have me holding a crack pipe, want to throw it away. Come on. You see what I mean? Saying, oh, I want to quit this stuff. I want to quit this stuff. But the stuff got a hold of it. But see, I know a God that can break chains. Streams whereof shall make glad 
The streams whereof shall make glad the city of God. The city of God. The holy place of the tabernacle of the, the most holy place high. of the tabernacle of the most high. God, God is in the midst of her. Is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. The church will not be moved. God shall help her. God shall help her. And that right early. And that right early. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Thank you. You got that? Go to 48 song. Couple pages over. Thank you, Lord. Talking about this city of God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. So Elijah, he was a man of God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Elijah was a man of God. So wonderful. So but Elijah had what they call a meltdown. Oh Lord. A burnout. All right. Thank you, Lord. Don't feel bad. Lord Jesus. About your burnouts. Oh Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Because sometimes the things that we face in life can cause burnouts. Oh, Lord. I'm not saying make you backslide. Oh, Lord. You're just tired. Yes, oh, Lord. That's what's wrong with the church today, churches. And the people of the true people of God, they tired sometimes. They haven't given up. They just tired. They fight and fight. They fight and struggling. Yes, oh Lord. Until they just get tired. Yes, oh Lord. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Thank you. And what they do, what the devil does is, yes. is he yes, can't Lord. stop you from serving yes. God because when you bought with a price and you're born again, yes. he, he knows that he can't make you quit yes. because you know too much about it. Yes. See, once you're exposed to something, you can't be unexposed. Yes. Am I right? Yes. See, you have been exposed to the Holy Ghost. Yes. So you can't be unexposed. Yes. You know how good God is. You don't yeah. see him hurting your life. Yeah. You don't see him open doors. Yeah. And you don't see him shut doors. Yeah. So you know too much about God. Yeah. That you won't give up. So what the devil tried to do. Yeah. That since he can't stop you. What he do That's is right. try to make things unclear. He try to make it unclear. Yeah. Yeah. Well I mean clarity. You can't. You just can't see uh -huh. yes. your way. Yeah. How am I going to make it? Yeah. How am I going to get this right? Uh -oh. yeah. How am I going to overcome this? Yeah. Uh, this one's going to turn out this way. So the devil put this, this unclear uh, 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 before you so you can't see. You see, that's what he tried to do. Make things unclear for you. See, But God he is that light. Yeah. He is that light. Yeah. And see, when you hold on, he'll open it up. All right? Yeah. 48 and 1. Thank you, Jesus. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. And greatly to be praised. No, he's not. He's greatly to be praised. He's greatly to be praised. Somebody there yeah, that God has been doing something for him. God got something for you. He's ready to be praised. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ready to be praised. In the city of our God. Oh, Lord. Is that the church? The church is the city. The same city in Revelation where he said he saw a holy city coming down from God and doing himself as a bride for her husband. See? And he said, I heard, I heard a great voice out of heaven said, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with me. You see? So the tabernacle of God came down already. Not going to come. So they wait for a stock of gold to come up on the earth. But see, this is a spiritual habitation here. We are habitating God through the spirit. You see what I mean? They wait on a natural stock of gold. Come on. But it's going to be this way. Yeah. Because there won't be no days like that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. See, they done took the metaphors and made them carnal. Yeah. 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 See? Glory to God. Don't, don't get me wrong. Now, I believe in the spirit realm somewhere. There is a place where all souls will go. Yeah. You know, and I believe that the heavenly place will be there. Yeah. You know, where all souls go. But right here in this earth realm, right here, we're habitating it right now. Yeah. See? In other words, you got to be just as much angel five minutes before you die. And you do after you die. You see? Thank you, Lord. 
Lord. When you purify your mind, oh Lord Jesus. how do you purify your mind? Oh Lord, thank you. Lord Jesus. You see how I'm you purify your mind by controlling your thoughts. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, why am I thinking this? Why am I doing some stinking thinking? You see what I mean? Sometimes you got to ask yourself, why am I thinking these thoughts? The enemy makes you think. You see? So sometimes you have to ask yourself, bring yourself under, under, uh, yeah, subjection, audience, all of your, all of your thinking. Yeah. What? I'm not thinking about it. Yeah. Foolishness. Right. Get rid of it. Amen. Right. There's consequences. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 All right, brother, go ahead. You got that, dude? <clears throat> great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. In the city of our God. In the city of our God. In the mountain of his holiness. In the mountain Amen. of his holiness. Whoa. Beautiful for situations. Oh. He said he's beautiful amen, amen. for a situation. Yeah. How many got situations today? Oh, well, God is beautiful for that situation. Oh, yeah. Try God in your situation. Whatever your situation is, try God. Let him fix it. Let God fix it. You got problems in your home? Let God fix it. You got a situation with the kids? Let God fix it. Come on. Let God fix it. I've been praying for my little son out of town for a long time. Long time. Thank you, And just uh, Friday night, I believe. Friday night of uh, one night this past week. Just Friday night, I think. Yes, I called him. Yeah. About 8 o'clock. He answered the phone. He never answered his phone. He never answered his phone. But I. I even sneaked up on him or it's God. So I just give credit to God. Amen. He answered his phone. And I didn't ask him. He said, I'm asleep. I said, okay, I know you're probably asleep right now. I said, I want you to know Daddy love you. Thank you, Lord. I'm here for you. Yes, he said, all right. I said, all right, get some good. Yes, get you some sleep. So. Amen. <laughs> get you some sleep. That's it. Amen. That's all I need. Amen. That's all I need. Amen. Because y'all will keep it on my knees. You'll be surprised that your prayers Amen. That's right. are yeah. covered yeah. your children. Yeah. Your prayers have your family covered. Yeah. You're walking under somebody else's prayer. You may not even know. You're being blessed by somebody else's yeah. prayer. I know I was, but out there in the world. Man, my mother's prayers had me covered. Had me covered. I, was a, I, I didn't have no idea what I was doing at that time. Because I would come home 15 years old doing wrong. You know, I'm not talking about stealing or whatever, but I was doing what kids do. Drinking. What I did. And I was sneaking the house so she, not, you know, couldn't hear me not to wake her up. And I would get in the bed. Thank you, Lord. Go in my room. I don't want to wake my own up. I'm high. All right. And I don't want to, you know, I go get in the bed, cover up. Thank you, Lord. By the time I get comfortable, I feel his hand touch me. Oh, Lord. It was my mother. She done sneaked in the room. <laughs> All right. You see? She done sneaked in the room by me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And then put her hand over and start praying for me. See? And so I play possum. I play. I don't want to move. Right, you know. And and now I hear her praying. Lord, help my child. Yeah. Yes. Save my child. Amen. Deliver my child. Thank you, Lord. Yes. you know. And she would be praying for me to, yes. to be delivered. Not one time. Multiple. Yes. Multitude yes. of times. Yes. That's right. Amen. That was my mother. Yes. Right. She would kneel down and pray for me to be yes. saved. Lord, save my child. Yes. Heaven, Lord. Heaven, Lord. You know, and, and, and I thank God that before she left this earth, I baptized her. Amen. Amen. She saw me in the ministry, and I baptized my mother. Amen. Took her to the river. Took her to the river. Some people say, I want to get baptized in that muddy water. But I took her down into the river, and we baptized. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Not in the power of the Son of the Holy Ghost, but in the name of Jesus. Yeah. He said, go ye in all the world and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of yeah. the Father, and all the Son, and all the Holy Ghost. The name of them. Come on. Glory to God. Come on. The name of the Father. That's what he said. Baptize them in the name of them. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now the scripture in the book of Ephesians said, For the whole family of heaven and earth is named after the Father. The whole family is named after the Father. The Bible said about Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, I come to um uh Jesus Christ said, I come to manifest my Father's name. I think it's take about 3 and 43. Uh, I came to 543. Okay. Yeah, so what now? Okay, I come in my father's name and you receive me now. Yeah, yeah. Give another coming in his own name. All right, preach, preacher. Preach. Let's say come in his own name if you will receive it. That's right. All right, so the Lord will write that. Verse 2. Beautiful for a situation. Beautiful for situations. The joy of the whole earth. The joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. Is Mount Zion on the sides of the north. On the sides of the north. The city of the great king. The city of the great king. God is known in her palaces. God is known in her palaces for refuge. Is that fourteen? Okay. Okay, go ahead. For lo, for lo, the kings were uh, assembled. The kings were assembled. They passed by together. They passed by together. They saw it. They saw it. And so they uh, marveled. They marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. And they were troubled and hasted away. Thank you, Lord. Fear took hold upon them. Fear took hold of them. Yeah. Upon them there. Upon them there. And pain. And pain. As of a woman in travail. As a woman in travail. Oh, no. Though. Thou uh, thou breakest the ships, thou breakest the ships of Tarshish. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. With an east wind. As we have heard, as we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of Hosts. So have we have heard in the city of the Lord of Hosts. They saw so much joy in that city. When they saw in that city, there was something going on to make it like that. Something was going on in that city. Glory to God. Go ahead. As we have heard, as we have heard, uh, so have uh, so have we seen in the city of our of the Lord of Hosts. So have we seen in the city of the Lord of Hosts. In the city of our God. In the city of our God. God will establish it forever. God will establish it forever. See you. See you. We have. We have. Uh, we have. Thought of thy loving kindness, O God. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God. In the midst of thy temple. In the midst of thy temple. According to thy name. According to thy o, name. O God, o God. So is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. So is thy praise unto the end of the earth. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's go over here uh, to uh, Second Chronicles 6 and 6. So worthy, so worthy, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, wonderful, Lord. Six. Second Chronicles. Oh, yes, oh, Lord. Yes, oh, Lord. Yes, six. Verse six. Thank you, Lord. Through 11, I don't know. We might want to stop, but go ahead. But I have chosen Jerusalem. Amen. But I have chosen Jerusalem. Amen. That my name might be there. Amen. That my name might be there. So I have chosen David. And I have chosen David to be over my people Israel. To be over my people Israel. Not the man David. Not the natural man David. Go ahead. Now it was in the heart of David. It was in the heart of David. My father. My father. To build a house for the Lord for the name of the Lord God of Israel. To build a house for the name of the Lord God of Israel. See, it was in his heart to do it. Go ahead. But the Lord said to David, But the Lord said to David, My father, My father, for as for as much as uh as as it was in, in thine heart. Take your time, as much as it was in thine heart, 
to build an, a house for my name. To build a house for thy name. Thou didst well. Thou didst well. In that it was in thy heart. That it was in your heart. Amen. No right. See? No right. So he didn't build it though. See? That's right. That's right. That's natural. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go ahead. Notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. Thou shalt thou shalt not build the house. Thou shalt not build the house. Right. But thy son. But thy son. Which which shall come forth. Which shall come forth. Out of thy loins. Out of thy loins. God Amen. always have a ram in the bush. Amen. Amen. Don't God have a ram in the bush? Amen. 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 Come on. He shall build a house for my name. Amen. He shall build a house for my name. Now watch this here. What I mean by the ram in the bush? When Abraham was told by God, take thy son Isaac and offer him for a sacrifice. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Abraham moved with obedience oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. to do what God said. Amen. That's right. Now he said, take your son <laughs> and offer him and kill him. Basically, oh, what you're going to do. Thank you, Lord. Take your only, he said, only son. Uh -huh. You know? Never not call Ishmael. Amen. That's right. Come on now. See? Oh, but Lord. see, Ishmael wasn't a promise. Oh, no. See, there's some things you can do that's God's purpose and God's promise. Uh -huh. yeah. And there's some things you can do that's not God's promise, but He'll bless it. But it ain't what God wanted. Oh, Lord. Yeah. But he'll still bless it. Oh, Lord. Because of his mercy and his kindness. Amen. Right. You see what I'm saying? Oh, but he'll bless it. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So he takes Abraham up mm -hmm. to uh, offer. Uh, Abraham went up to offer his son Isaac for a sacrifice. Now I know the way I love my son. And I know you all uh -huh. love your children. Uh -huh. right. You know. And to do something of that nature right there. To go up. And said, well, I'm going to trust in God. So he, he believed God. How do I know he believed God? Because when he was up, going up there, he told his, his servants, said, y'all wait here. He said, we'll be back. You see what I'm saying? Y'all wait here. So we'll be back. So that's faith in operation right there. We coming back. But now Abraham... The little lad, he says, uh, Father, I see the wood. Amen, amen. But where is the, the sacrifice? <laughs> it's just that. Abraham said, What? God will provide. God will provide. That was faith, brother. God will provide. Yes, he will. Yes, Come yes, on. Yes, God, yes. God has provided for me through some, some things that yes. I had no idea yes. that God would do. So right, so right. I mean, God do simple things for me. Yes, and, I, and it's like, it's like, uh, I mean, it's, it's a miracle. Yes, I'm going to show you. Thank you, Lord. Wasn't a real simple thing that God did for come me. Come on, come on, Jesus. It's real simple. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. My back, my little pouch there. Uh, I was on my way to, to a class. And I said, oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I got to find, I think that's when I got out of the hospital that day. I went, left here and went to the hospital. Uh, I want my mask. Uh -huh. Thank you, and so... I said, well, shoot, I'm going to class. It's going to be about eight or nine of us in here. I should wear my mask while I'm going to class. Wow. And I said, God, I forgot my mask. I so I told my sister, I forgot my mask. I think I might have talked to you on the phone that day, didn't I? And I forgot my mask and everything on. And I got to dig it. Thank you, Lord. It's three little pouches there. Open one, then go. And I was going to go fast. What am I going to do? Well, I, I don't know. So I'm going on. I get to the other second transfer bus stop. I get to the bus stop and I'm thinking, what am I going to do in this class if I start coughing or something, you know? So I sit there went, went to, to my backpack for a piece of gum. 
Boom, there go my mask. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> my mask was in it. And I kind of jumped when I saw it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you know, because I didn't search it up, tap down, and did this uh -huh. there. Thank you, Lord. And there was no mask there. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You can't miss it. Oh, you, you know. Now if you turn the pocket out. Uh -huh. And so I'm sitting there and saying, Boss, you want my man? And I open up, get some gold. I'm like, Where's my man standing here? Oh, I pull it out. Thank you, Lord. And that was a miracle. Yeah. Because I know without a doubt I did not overlook that mask. I, I did not overlook it. These are the simple things God will do. If you pray, if you pray and you seek it daily, not just every once in a while you feel like it, but if you keep a relationship with God, God will make things pop up in your life. You'll be like, what is that? I know it was bad, but I hear it. You see, God has done those things for me. Amen. All through my life. Yes. All through my life, Don't Lord. Worry. One time, remember one time I told him, I said, if I, I get some money, I got to, it's got to fall out of the sky. Remember me and you told him? I told Brother Marvin, I said, Shoot, I need two thousand was a thousand dollars. I said, I need a thousand dollars this week, man. He said, Brother Charles, I don't know. I said, yeah, man. I said, yeah, I know everybody doing what they can do for me. Thank you, Lord. Man, uh, Brother Marvin said, well, I don't know, Brother Charles. I guess it's got to fall out of the sky. Uh, thank you, Lord. I said, I guess so. Uh, thank you, got to fall out of the sky. Mm. And then, believe it or not, thank you, Lord. I'm going down the street. Thank you, Lord. And then come a cop in the truck. I'm going boom. Lord. Knocked me through the light down the street, broke my glass out and everything. I said, oh, boy, the money to the road now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, thank you, Lord. Oh, boy. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> we finna get this money for the road. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord. But, but guess what? The man that hit me was my brother in the law. <laughs> I get out of the get out of the truck and I go, and here he come. I said, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This can't be happening. <laughs> See, this can't be happening. And we talked it through, came up with a little plan. Mm, and uh the Lord blessed me. Uh, thank you, Lord. He did. Bless me with uh, you know, I didn't put no police involved. I said, bro, I'm not gonna call him. Uh -huh. He said, he said, bro, I got two tickets. I said, I know you, man. I know how you drive. <laughs> I know. I said, but if I call the DPS on you, man, they're going to take your license. Yeah, that's right. You're not going to have no license. Mm -hmm. And I can't do that one. Thank you, Lord. I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. I see dollar signs. That devil on one shoulder says, you see the dollar signs now. I can't do that. I can't do that one. I can't do that one. I can't do that one. I can't, I can't go over this my brother in the law hey, hey, hey. and put him, take his license. I just, I just have to do this. Uh, yeah. And the Lord worked it out. Amen. He Thank worked you. it out. Brother kept his license. Yeah. And uh, I ended up with this, not a thousand, but twenty five. Twenty five hundred dollars. That's how good God is. Yeah. He will make a way when it seems like yeah. there is no way. So when you get in a bind or in a situation, don't give up. Keep trusting God. Keep hoping in God. Keep believing in God. You see, because see, I didn't want that on my name. Because what was going to happen to me was already in motion. That's already in motion. I can't stop that. You know. And so I'm not going to let the devil put a bad name on me. So he took his brother's license for money. That's right. Uh -uh. Brother, you got to believe God and Amen. live with God and love your brother enough that money ain't hey, your brother. If you really got God, you see what I mean? You got to think about your soul. Come on. You see, when Joseph's brothers put him in a hole, and that was, uh, that was, uh, uh, 
uh, uh, Bella's son, Bella and Leah's two boys, Dan and Nephilim, and that was uh, uh, Gad and Asher. Those two brothers, the brothers right there. Now, now look at what I'm saying. Bella's, Bella and Leah was handmaids of Jacob. See, he married Rachel and he married Leah. Married Leah first. So, so Bella had two two kids for him. Stand to be corrected on the name back Dad and Asher and and uh uh Bella and I think Zelpha. Bella and Zelpha. Zelpha had uh Dan and Nephilim. Okay, so you got Leah and Rachel, they had the other. But Leah had about six children by Jacob. You know, he had six, she had six. So now when Joseph was coming in the field, the two the two guys, uh, the crew that was out there that saw Joseph coming, the first ones was Dan and Nephilim and Dan and Yeah, They was together. All right. You see, because if you look at Jacob's family, there was chaos in his house all the time. Really? Because he had two sisters for a wife. Think about it. Come on. Think about it. You're married to two sisters uh -oh. that's fighting over you. See? Uh -huh. And now you got all these sons, 12 sons, that want a heritage. Okay. They, want, they want the inheritance of their father, uh -huh. Jacob. Uh -huh. yeah. Brother, now you think there was a piece in that house? Uh -huh. There wasn't a whole bunch of peace in that house. Uh -huh. that's right. When you think about it, at the table, who ate the most? Who done this? It was always it was a tug of war between them boys all the time. No tug of war. And one boy was saying that, that well, you know, my mama married to me. I'm just hypothetically, yeah, you know, yeah. just hypothetically. Yeah. My mama married to daddy. Yours is not. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so they didn't like that. You know, they didn't like that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So when Joseph uh, generated favor in, in his father's eyes, why was Joseph so much favored in his father's eyes? Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord. You see? Yes, oh, Lord. I'm tell you why. Thank you, he obeyed his father. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord. See? Whatever his father told Joseph to do, Joseph did. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You see? That's how he got that favor. Yeah. <laughs> Those other kids that, that, that was out there, uh, he would tell them to go in the field and tend sheep and look over here for the sheep or whatever, uh, the goats or whatever, and they'd be somewhere in the town drinking, party. He got to send Joseph. They call him that little town tail. Here comes this little town tail. He's going to tell it on us. Because the boys are doing wrong. You see what I mean? See? So he. He was a snitch. That's what they would say. You know. But Joseph was obeying his father, doing what he said do. That's the way it is with you. If you walk right with God, people are not gonna like you. Your own kid folks won't like you. Come on. When you walk for God, your own relatives will turn against you. Come on. They will turn. They will turn against you. Amen. Come on. That's true. So, what did Joseph do? Dream? Mm -hmm. And he didn't know better. Oh, See, some things it's best because your kid folk don't know. Yeah. 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 You see what I mean? Uh -huh. Some things that God is dealing with you about is best you don't tell. Amen. 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 That's right. Because you might be your worst enemy. Amen. You see? Amen. Come on. Amen. So, this is what was happening to Joseph because he was, what, 17 years old? Young kid. And they despised him. Couldn't stand it. Wanted to kill him. You see? Strange. 
How many been an outcast in your family? Amen. Right? You don't have to raise a hand. Eh? All right, brother. <laughs> That's the talk. You don't have to raise a hand. All right, no, no, no. All right. Go ahead. But you know, been an outcast. Mm -hmm. It's like you different. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Most of us that come to God were outcasts. Uh -huh. yeah. right. One right. way or the other. Right. You know, you were outcasts in school. You were outcasts on your job. I mean, you was different from everybody else. There was something about you that brought you. And see, the reason why you're so different because you're not from this world. Yeah. See, you're not from here. You're not. When your mind is on God and your, what your mind is telling you and what's up, it's telling you I got to find my way back home. That's what's going on inside of you. You're like, I need God. I need to serve God. But what, what it's really saying, you need to find your way back home. He told Jeremiah, before you was in your mother's womb, I knew you. See, they talk about the Adam nature, the Adam seed. But we are the offspring of God. We're not the offspring of Adam. We're the offspring of God. See, we are God's offspring. Before we hit the world, before you hit your mother's womb, God had predestinated all day in you to glorify Him in this world. I believe it. Come on. All right, brother. Well, uh, what do we stop at? Keep it going. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Lord therefore had performed his word. Lord had therefore performed his word. That he had spoken. That he had spoken. For I am risen up in the uh, room of, of David, my father. For I am risen up in the room of David, my father. And am set on the throne of Israel. And am set on the throne of Israel. That's as true. the Lord, as the Lord promised. As the Lord promised. So in other words, watch this here. So now, Baal, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go with this. All right. Go ahead. I can't, I can't get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> and have built the house uh, for the name of the Lord God of Israel. And have built the house for the name of the Lord God of Israel. Amen. Amen. All right. Glory, glory to God. All right. One of Psalms, uh, I mean Isaiah 60 and 11. So we're going to be through here in a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll be through here just a little bit. We're wrapping this up. Y'all bear with me a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. So now those kids that disliked Joseph, what happened was they wanted to kill him because of his dreams that he was having. His dreams, and he was just a, a lad. Then his other brothers came along and made a plan to sell him so they wouldn't kill him. You see, Reuben and uh, Judah, they said, let's sell him. Well, Reuben left and came back and they had already sold him. You see? To the, uh, I think the Ishmaelites. You see? Now, you take the Ishmaelites. That's Ishmael. That's another one of Abraham's sons. You got Isaac, had a ram in the bush for Isaac, which was a prototype of the sacrifice of Christ. That's what Isaac represented when Abraham was going to take his life, and he didn't. Well, see, God blessed Abraham and blessed his seed abundantly because he obeyed God. You see, he obeyed God. There are situations where you might say, uh, oh, man, uh, Man, say, say we got, got a soda, a cup of soda. We got a cup of soda, something simple, I'm gonna show you. And so this person said over there that you 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 really you really don't like in your mind. You don't like his ways or whatever. And then God tell you to go get him one of those soda. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes, Lord. You see? That's right. Thank you, Lord. Can you obey it? Now watch this here. Then you go get him a soda, and he's like, "Man, I was wanting a soda. I didn't have no money to get a soda." Man, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, sir, for the soda. Okay, so you obey God. Thank you, Lord. Now here's another scenario. This will blow your mind. Okay, you know you're being talked about behind your back. You can kind of feel it. 
Sometimes you can feel them vibes. People talking about you behind your back, treating you bad. You know, they, they, they don't like you, they really don't like you. All right. So, you fix them. Uh, say you got some donuts or cake or coffee or whatever. And you go to those people that's talking behind your back and say, here's some donuts. Y'all enjoy the coffee with the coffee? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you serve them up. Oh, yeah, enjoy yourself. Yeah. Okay, so you got uh -huh. Then they sit there and they've been calling you silly and stupid and can't stand you. Yeah. And now they got to eat them donuts. <laughs> <laughs> you see, now they gotta eat them donuts because she, you gave them to them. Yeah. You see? Yeah. They said they eat them donuts. <laughs> you know That's what the Lord said. You heap coals of fire upon the yeah. enemy's head right. and you show kindness Amen. to them. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or somebody on the phone talking about you, you know? And, uh, you don't know them that well, but they tell me, yeah, man, I don't like that dude, 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 that now he talked about you on the phone. Mm -hmm. And you said, here, and then you go with the cold thing. Oh, don't worry about it. That's the Lord told me to give you this. You see? Mm -hmm. That's it all. Now, over a period of time, when you treat people like that, Amen. Ooh, that's right. That's right. They can't speak bad about you. Yeah. No. And when they do start speaking bad about you, uh -huh. they feel guilty. Uh huh. Yeah. That's right. That's see? Right. Amen. That's going to make them feel guilty. Amen. That's right. For saying something about you. Uh -huh. Somebody else come up and say, well, man, you know, this guy, this is that. But then the other guy that you've been treating like that, he'd be like, well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, you know, he's scared to talk about you. Yeah. Because you done treated so kind and show, showed, him, <clears throat> excuse me, showed, showed him so much love. Yeah. Until he don't want, he's not going to be a part of that. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. That's what the Lord said love your enemies. Yeah. Love your enemies. <laughs> The Lord will bless you. Okay, let's get, get one more scripture. I'm going to be done. I'm going to leave a little time up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go ahead. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee. The men may bring unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles. The forces of the Gentiles. Thank you. And that their kings uh, may be bought. And that their kings may be bought. Okay, no, go to uh, Hebrews 12 and 18, and I'm going to close with this. I'm going to close with God is through, I'm through. I don't care what time it is. <laughs> I ain't going to be over here by myself. God is there, you do. You do with me. All righty. Okay, go ahead. Look at that, I got my Bible. Where over there? They preach up here without a Bible. Oh, Lord, thank you. <laughs> I forgot my Bible, y'all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, good. Follow peace with all men. Follow peace with all men. And holiness. And holiness. Without which no man shall see the Lord. Without which no man shall see the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Look diligently. Okay, okay, then. See, we want, uh, that's not the one we want. We want this one right here, Brother Marvin. Uh, give me Hebrews 12 and 18. Yeah. That, that's another one. But that's a good one. We needed that, though. Yeah, that was that's nice in there. We throw some in there. Let's see that. Put a little pepper and salt on it. <laughs> All right, Brother, do it. You are not coming to the mount that might be touched. You are not coming to the mount that might be touched. And that burn it with fire. And that burn it with fire. Nor unto blackness. Nor unto blackness. And darkness and as temperance. darkness and temperance. And the sound of trumpet. And the sound of, of, of a trumpet, trumpet. Of a trumpet. And, and the voice of words. And the voice of words. Which voice they that heard. Which voice which they heard. 
uh, entreated that the word should not be spoken to them anymore. And entreated that the words, that he said, don't speak these words to us anymore. We don't want to hear that. Oh, Lord. Who is this talking about? How many know who that's talking about right now? Okay, anybody know who they, they, we talking about? The voice that they heard. Who are these people right here? This is Israel and Moses. Okay, when Moses was on that mount, or he was given the commandments of the Lord, that's what they were. That, this is what this is the situation that he referred back to Moses, and why the people was rebelling and said, "Don't say this to us anymore." See, that's information. What I'm saying, it's accurate information. What I'm saying. That's why we started off over there in and uh. Uh, uh, four, uh, Jose, yeah, yeah, four and six about knowledge, and so understanding is what you got to have. Like, in other words, we don't want to read the Bible and hear it and not know what we're talking about. I mean, just read it. Come on, you want to know, okay, what is this talking about? Right you know, you know, it's one thing to read it, but it's another thing to understand what we're talking about. Okay, go ahead, and I'll be done. <clears throat> For they could not endure that which was commanded. For they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain. It shall be stoned. It shall be stoned. Or thrust through with the door. Or thrust through with the door. And so terrible was the uh, sight. And so terrible was the sight. That Moses said. Moses said. I exceedingly fear and I quake. I exceedingly fear and quake. Moses Amen. even shook at this here. This is powerful. Some power. Moses around some power. Mm -hmm. See, that's when you when the anointing move in here. Like in this little small Amen. building right here. Amen. When God step in, you know we're Amen. in here. That's right. Amen. Come on. And, and, and when you haven't been around the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. I move, I'm, I'm serious. Uh -huh. When you haven't been around the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. you'll be like, the world? Nope. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Amen. Come on. What's going on? See, when I was coming through this, this situation I was in, I danced all the way through it when I went to church down there at that place Thank in Navasota. Yeah. 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 yeah, I danced. Thank I go to church and if he get in that word, Thank you, Lord. Well, I'll be dead. Amen. Amen. I take off running. Go I run around and around the gym. Everybody Amen. sitting down and say, look at that thing, he's crazy. <laughs> and I just run all around the gym and shout. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He's all right. Know why? Because I want to go home. Amen. <laughs> see, I want to go home. Amen. And see, we got to praise him in our tribulation. Amen. Amen. See, it's one thing praise him one way, but it's another thing when you praise him when you're down in the tribulation. Amen. Come on. So now, these people look at me like, ah. Some of the, some of the guys came to me and said, uh, hey, uh, Choice, they said that uh, you just putting on a show in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Choice, they said you you just shouting and just carrying on just to be seen. That's said, well, excuse me, brother. Let me talk to you for a minute. I said, who you think want to see me? God want to see me. Because I like to know. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But I don't see nothing but a bunch of knuckleheads with the same uniform on I got on. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? We wear the same clothes. Yours don't look better than mine. Amen. Right. Yeah. And mine don't look better than yours. Yeah. Right. We got on the same clothes. Right. Okay, so who do you think I want to see? Now, I said, you see any women in there? <laughs> you see? Thank Did anybody pull up in a Bentley? Yeah. Lexus? Amen. No, they didn't, didn't. That's right. So whatever the other said, I didn't care about these people. Amen. Yeah. That's right. This ain't got nothing to do with them knucklehead Amen. inmates. Amen. That's in a revolving door. Amen. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. You're in this revolving door. Yeah. In and out, in and out, yeah. coming back, in and out. Man, I ain't trying to do that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. I mean, I heard everybody mad at me. Hey, you know, they say, well, you're yeah, preaching, you yeah, just throw the Bible in the way when you, when you leave here. Yeah. I've been telling this Bible since I was 25 years old. You think I'm going to throw it away now? This is what's going to get me. This is my king. You see? Glory to God. So when you can praise him, Amen. 
in any situation you get right. in, any condition you That's in, right. don't let him go. Yes. Come on, that'll show what you got. Amen. Come on, that'll show what you got. Amen. When you get down, that'll show you what you got. Come on. Oh, Lord, I got a testimony. I ain't told it yet. I just throw those drops out there. You see what I mean? But I'm grateful and thankful for God. I'm thankful for the prayers of the saints. This church, these brothers right here, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. God is so good. Just, did, 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 did we get all that? Okay, give, give me that last verse and we're going to be through. I'm going to get out. But ye are come unto Mount Zion. But ye are come unto Mount Zion. And unto the city of the living God. There go that city again. Amen. And to the city of the living God. You are already come to it. Amen. We're not waiting on the stack of gold to come out of the sky. Right. The city of God is in here. Amen. And in here. It's already here. Amen. The heavenly Jerusalem. The heavenly, see, the heavenly Jerusalem. Not the natural Jerusalem, but the heavenly Jerusalem. And an innumerable company and of angels. And an innumerable company of angels. Yeah. And just me, is that right? Yeah. And just me. To, to the general assembly. The general assembly. And church of the firstborn. And church of the firstborn. Which are written in heaven. Amen. Which are written in heaven. Amen. And to God, the, the judge of all. And to God, the judge of all. And to the spirit of just men made perfect. And the spirit of just men made, made perfect. perfect. Yes. And just men. Yes. And to Jesus, the mediator. Jesus, the mediator. Of the new covenant. Amen. Of the new covenant. It's wonderful, eh? Amen. And to so they have to take this to just men yes. made perfect. Yes. Amen. See, they cannot be made perfect without us. Amen. That's what they said. That he lied in all the prophets back there under the law, they could not be made perfect without us. Oh, Lord. Yeah. And they came under, they, they right here, have a tenure, right here with us. Oh, just me. Made perfect. Oh, Lord. See, they weren't perfect, but now they made perfect. Oh, yeah. right. See? Come on. All right, you got and, it. and to the blood of uh, sprinkling. And to the blood of sprinkling. That speaketh better things than that of Abel. That speaketh better things than that of Abel. Now the blood that Jesus sprinkled. I'm going to put it up here. I don't believe it. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. See, I'm going to just put that in like this. When that high priest went in that tabernacle, right? Okay, when he went in that tabernacle, he had bells tied on his on his, on his his thing. And they and a rope. So if he died or something happened to him, they'll pull him out of there. Right. But he went in there and he sprinkled, the blood, he sprinkled that blood and that goat, uh, the sheep or whatever, lamb or whatever he put it all over there, that sacrifice, he put it all over. And they sprinkled the people in him, and for the sins of the people that were in sale. Okay, now Jesus was a prototype of that. Thank He's you. a priest. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. So now his blood is shed. Right? Amen. So he had to sprinkle something. Oh, Lord, Jesus. See what I mean? Oh, Lord. Okay, and he had to go into the holies of holies, too. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's true. Now, believe it or not, when Mary kept found him at that tomb, now, now, now Matthew Henry and Strong and all the commentaries, they don't, they don't know this here. Yeah, you, you go Lord. look it up, and they go, you go say, no, nah, I don't see it, but I see it. How did he get it? Okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where did he get that from? Okay? Now watch this real close. When they found him at that tomb, right? Mary, whatever, she thought he was a gardener or whatever. And she was crying, where is it? She said, they taking my Lord away. He said, don't we? Then he recognized that it was Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. And what did he tell her at that tomb? Lord, this is what he told her. Touch me not. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. He said, for I have not ascended unto my father. But go and tell my disciples what? I see. So he said, I'm going. Thank you, Lord. So he went there, oh, Lord. took that blood, and came back. <laughs> I got a video we did. And I got a couple places. I got two more witnesses on it, but I ain't got time back because I'm done. But I just thought I'd just throw that in there because I couldn't do it. So God had to bring it to my mind. That's what he said. Go tell him about the That used to blow me away. I said, tell him, go. I said to my father. 
He said it. I'm going. So did he go or did he? Yes, he did. He had to go, did he? Amen. He did not. That's right. He went to his father. He did. Then when they saw him, he done put the blood. He done did all that what that priest would have done. But he did it in the spiritual realm Thank because he's the high priest now. seated on the right hand of God. So he was going to all the holy. So I'm done. I'm done, y'all. I ain't done. God bless y'all. I'm done. I'm done. Pastor Bobby. Pastor Bobby. God bless y'all. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, All right, brother. I found a city that's free of gold. That beautiful mansion where Jesus told. I found a garden for the tree of life. In the midst of that city where there is no strife. Yes, Jesus is my captain. The battle is won. I'm more than a conqueror through God's only Son. The hammer of salvation. Faith is my shield in the midst of that city where the grace of God appears. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the city of God, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, we know it's 168 hours in a week. And for sure, we come and give God four. I usually say three, because we start at 11 to two. That's three hours. Some people, Jesus Christ asked them, can y'all not pray with me for one hour? Amen. Come on, some people can't give them a couple hours in a week. It's 168 hours. Hours in a week. Let me see. I think it's 1,440 minutes in a day. How many are you giving God? Hello? 100, I mean, 1,440 minutes in a day. How many are you praying? How many minutes are you giving God? How much time are we giving God? Come on, brothers and sisters. Facebook, y'all be blessed. Yeah. We hope that something was said that y'all can grow by. Amen. Thank you, Amen. We go further in the Lord. Yeah. We'll weep if we fight not. Amen. God bless y'all until next time we're on now. God bless you.